Welcome to left lesson 15 of Learn C. Um, and this is um, a really actually a complicated topic and, and it starts with modularity and it ends with uh, really something hard. And the title of this thing, as you saw from the thing, is um, and and star. And what do those terms mean in, um, in C? Okay, so what I've done for lesson 15 is I've taken the results of lesson 13 and um, I put, I went back in, I put QWERTY back in here before sorting, da, 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 then swap them. And then I commented out this printf statement there. And so if we do uh, save it, uh, execute, uh, compile it, run, it works. Before it's QWERTY, da, 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 after it's da, da, da. Okay. Everything works. Um, so let's, let's make this more modular. Inside here, let's not do this. Um, let's write a program called swap. Uh, I'm sorry, let's write a function called swap. Alpha sub i and alpha sub j. It doesn't return a value. I just want to take these two input things and swap them, right? Okay. Seems reasonable. And so, um, so we're going to declare a variable, uh, declare a function swap, and their characters, their characters, a and character. The two arguments are character b. I'm going to use a and b dummy variables. It doesn't matter. They don't have to be alpha sub i and alpha sub j there. And because it doesn't return a value, you just say void. So it mean that you're telling them, look, I'm not returning any value for this array for this function. So let's go and make, copy that. Control-Z, go down to the bottom, after the curly braces, Control-V, take away the semicolon, put curly braces. I need to describe a new variable, a uh, character temp, uh, temp equals A, A equals B, B equals temp, return, return any value, just return. Perfect, right? Very simple um, uh, 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 function, subroutine. I use those two terms pretty interchangeably. And um, uh, it's pretty obvious what they do. And it makes this, this really complicated nested for loop a lot easier. Swap them. Okay, instead of knowing what temp, da, 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 it just has a more natural feel to it. It looks good. Let's compile it and run it and see how it goes. Compile. No errors, no warnings. That means it works. Hmm. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Before QWERTY, da, 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 after, after sorting, it's still QWERTY. It didn't change at all. Why? Why did it do that? Well, I kind of gave you the hint before in lesson 14. In a subroutine, all local carrier, local variables remain local, and these things are dummy variables. What's really happening when you call this subroutine, when you call this function alpha i sub alpha j, it takes a copy. It takes a copy of alpha sub i and a copy of alpha sub of a and puts it in this dummy variable a and this dummy variable b respectively it doesn't take it does it's not doing anything to alphas of i and alphas of j it's it's doing all this it's swapping the dummy variables right it's if as is it's and the analogy i always use in this thing is it's as if the function is a sim environment so you, i live in the real world and i live on blah blah blah, blah prospect avenue right and so I live on Prospect Avenue, and I want to move one block up on Prospect Avenue, right? So if I do if I do the moving operation as a function, it's like I moved my apartment into the virtual world, right? And then virtually went up to a new virtual place, um, one block up in that virtual sim world. But my real apartment and the real apartment I want to move into haven't changed at all, right? So... Um, that's this analogy is that the function, this is all, this is, has nothing to do with the variables in, 
in Maine. This is all local variables, all that stuff. So that's why it didn't work. When you actually want to do a swap, when you actually want to actually influence the characters in this array, um, you can't do you can't do it the way we've learned it so far with a function. The average worked because a copy of that array, a sub i, capturing the average of a copy of, a, of, a, of an array of numbers is going to get you the same answer as, a, as calculating the average of, um, of the actual array itself. Moving, that's a different topic. We're moving stuff, right? We're swapping these two values. So moving from um, a, a virtual one virtual apartment to another virtual apartment has no impact whatsoever on your real apartment. It's a lot easier to move in sim world. Yeah. So... Um, so we've got to come up with a patch, and here's the patch. If if we were able to send the address of where alpha sub i is and the address of where alpha sub j is, remember going back to this idea of uh, of arrays, right? If I go back here and I click on this, <clears throat> so this block where the var a variable a is stored that block of memory that has an address it has a hexadecimal address you know actually you know it's just a number that says where in ram is that variable stored right if we set a if we set a copy of the actual address that you're going to then, then we're not going to the simulation world we're actually going back to the real world we're actually going to change the actual values of alpha sub i and alpha sub j Ampersand means address. But swap, and I'm sending the address of alpha sub i and the address of alpha sub j. Just as a reminder, where else have you seen address before? In the scanf statement, an f scanf statement, right? So in fscanf, in order to actually really load something into an array, you have to put an address. You have to send address and scan. You can't send the, a copy of the variable name. You have to actually send the actual address. So if I send the address down to a subroutine, then, um, uh, then it ought to work. The only now, but in order to be able to handle addresses, the variables here have to be uh, have a special um, uh, name, they have to be a special kind of variable called a pointer, star. We've seen star before, too. We've seen it when we declared fp. Handle to files has to be this special kind of variable called a pointer. So pointers can handle both the variable name and the address name. So, so um, uh, that's just a, a detail of C, is that you have to have it as a pointer. You have to declare it as a pointer. Up here. These are as pointers up here, pointers up here. So, so, so when when I call swap, it's going to be expecting uh, uh, something. It's going to be ex expecting something that's going to give me the um, the actual where it where the data file, where the variable is, not just the a copy of the value of the variable. That's the code word by calling it a pointer. And then when we call it, um, you know, we could have used pointers in this thing, but we're still in this array mode. And so uh, instead of saying, um, changing this type of thing, I just was able to do the trick by saying, okay, just, I'm, I'm going to, this is all pointer stuff. So I'm going to send it as an address, not as an actual value of what's in alpha sub i. That's how it works. Does it work now? Yeah, it works now. Hmm. So, if you look at variables, a regular old variable, let's call it a, um, uh, you can get the address of A by saying and sub A. If we declare a special kind of variable called uh, B here, then to get the address of B, to, to if we assign if we assign A a value, A equals five. If we have to assign a value to B, this pointer that's also an integer, then it would be star B equals five. 
If we want the address of B, we just say B without the star in front of it. So this is the analogy is for regular old variables, when you declare them, then um, you just assign them with a value without this, anything in front of them. But when you want the address, you have to say and. For pointers, if you want to put something into the contents of a pointer variable, you have to put the star in front. And if you, um, but if you want just the address, you take away the star and it's just the variable itself. Yeah, so, and by the way, I get this is, but and students have told me over and over again that this is the most complicated, weird, what in the world, why does C do this? Um, you got to trust me, this is actually a cool thing, and eventually you don't, when you're doing really, really big memory stuff, you don't use arrays. You can do it all with pointers, and you can dynamically allocate memory, and you can do, you know, there's all sorts of cool stuff you can do with pointers that you can't do with arrays. And so pointers really are a better tool, a really a good tool for um, using in C. It's just you're going to get introduced to it here. Later on in life, you'll, you'll be able to use these pointers um, a lot more. That's it. That's lesson 15.